Good evening, well, early evening, <coughs> excuse me, welcome to this sort of a, uh, well I, I'm not going to say quick because it backfires on me, I'm using my old camera because I've just um, been working with my other one and it's busy upstairs so I'm in the conservatory, in the hottest place here, 30, <laughs> God, 30 in here, that's what it is up there usually, the heat must be rising from here. Welcome to the video, just a quick, um, I've said it. A uh, taste test of the um, Carolina Reaper, Iceland's Carolina Reaper quarter pounders. So, um, nothing major in them. There's two there. And this one is basic and this one is more loaded. So I'll show you the basic one. All it is is the bread. It's sitting on some lettuce. It looks very dark there, darker than it is in real life. Um, and there's the burger, so I just want to taste the heat, so here we go. Hmm, looks like inside. Now I can taste, yeah I can taste the reaper. These are made of milled get this right habaneros milled habanero chilies um, ground or chopped jalapeno and carolina reaper powder so to be, oh, they're lovely to be honest when I seen them frozen they just look like these um, well, they look nothing like your homemade, obviously. But being produced like this for a store, that's not bad at all. I hope you can see this. I like the. Oh, there's a few fries. Do you want? One? Help yourself. Half of them are gone. Right. So how's your week going? Ice cold. So I can tell there's nothing on this that will calm the heat down. Mm. Nice bat bread. Hence and bread. Made in Denby. Um. Okay, I can taste the spice and I can tell there's Carolina Reaper by the taste and the other chilies. And yeah, I can tell there's a different sort of chilli taste. But heat, there's just, what can I say, a presence in the mouth. Just a, nothing major for me at all. Now the second one, here, if I can, without dropping everything, some of the onion, there's onion on the lid of that. I put, I don't know if you can see this, can you see any? I'm going to drop everything here. And now, there's some yellow, I don't know if you can see there. So I've put a layer, no butter, nothing like that, a layer of English mustard, Coleman's, strong mustard, then the lettuce, then the burger. Then the tomato, then the onion, and there's some more on here. On top of that, I'm going to add some of this Bumaris Reaper sauce. Because we've got to have some heat. Wait a minute. So let me put. Silly doing it this way, really. I should have spread it. But I wanted you to see it going on. That's a Good kick to that, I tell you. And the onion, and the mustard. So let that sit for a minute. Put the lid on. So people were saying, who did I speak to? Who's tried them? Or did I hear it? Anyway, they're not as hot as the wings, very true. 
Um, there are sausages now to try. So I'm hoping to go this week. Oh, lovely. This is a standard one. I am hungry and I've not had nothing to eat. This is my sort of evening meal and supper together. Anyway, that's enough of that. We're going to go now to the hot one. To the all in baby. You ready? To be fair, um, as I say, they look um, as if they, oh, there's the heat of that sauce. <laughs> they look as if they're going to be a, you know, one of these sort of cheap things mushed together. But fair play is a nice taste to it. And I enjoy making my own. You may see the mustard there now. You may have seen it before, I don't know the base. So you've got the heat of the bit, there's not much heat in mustard, but there's enough there, kick. The hell was that? Enough of a kick. Uh, heat, there's a taste in the in the burger. Onions given a bit, and the sauce together with the Reaper burger. So it's um If you like heat, similar to me, you'll enjoy the taste probably, but there's no, there's no kick. Wow. What silliest room to do this in. Crispy fries. I'm just hoping the lighting's alright. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's lovely. Cool, man. I know I haven't brought a. Uh, because I usually, um, oh I'm enjoying this heat of this sauce, it's lovely. I bought this, they made it in Bumalis Chili Shop. I did a while up, but keep it in the fridge, you know. Mm. Wow. If you let these thaw out, you could do them on the barbie. Well, you could do them on the barbie, frozen, but I wouldn't suggest that. Some, uh, see I go on and I'm sorry I go on in these videos. It's meant to be, no they're not hot, they're nice tasting, see ya. Oh no, gotta go round the bloody world and back. What I was going to say is, uh, somebody, well a few of you um, that follow me from the States, tell me that you've got these big barbecues. Smokers, um, and you can, you know, they go in all day. I think, don't they? On a low heat, put some hickory wood or something like that. So they smoke the pork and cook it slow, and then at the end of the day, it just all pulls apart. You get the smokiness. Oh, just bloody hell. worth it. I'm gonna fly over now. This sweat. I just wish I could tell you it was from this. <laughs> the art in the room and the food I'm eating. Mind you, there's a, there's a new concept. Sit in a hot greenhouse or a conservatory like this. It's about, uh, well, it's 29 degrees now. See, don't eat a hot burger, but you'll be sweating as if you are eating one.
Mm. So they're nice. These are two. I've got another two in the freezer. And I will enjoy them. But uh, if you don't like heat, you probably feel something. Um, if you do like heat, nice taste. You'll know there's a presence, but that's it. It's flat then. Worth buying? Yeah. Would I buy them again? Yeah. I'll buy any um, limited edition from Iceland because they're usually good, the, the, the wings are. Anyway, I'm going now. It's getting too hot in here. And when this camera hasn't switched off too hot, something's come up on there. Well, I don't know. Anyway, so that's it. Very nice. Um, as I say, there's a presence of heat there. You can taste the chilies and the Carolina Reaper powder. But there's just a presence for me, there's no heat really. Um, nice taste. Add in the sauce, big difference, and really enjoy them. But I would buy them again. All the best, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on most likely Saturday. Hot and spicy, unless I think of something else silly to do. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, have a good week, and I'll see you then. Take care. I'm going to get a towel now to wipe my head.